Vail in Colorado was the location recently for snowboarding's 2018 Burton US Open. First up on finals weekend were the slope-style riders. However, strong winds across the course meant the women's final was cancelled. Therefore, it was the semi-final results that decided US Open glory. And it was Olympic champion Jamie Anderson who came out on top. The queen of slope style, though, Jamie Anderson. She's won this event more than anyone. She's coming in oh so hot, Preston, after a terrific season that includes X Games gold and another Olympic gold medal. Yeah, and it's not just insane how good she is, but for how long she has been this good. I mean, you go back to 2007, and a lot of other names that she bested to win her first title, they're no longer around, they're no longer competing, but Jamie and riding like this has really stood the test of time. They're the Cap 540, looking just so good. Everything she does is just so, so simple so stylish and just so strong. She has such a mastery and command over that snowboarder. 27-year-old Jamie Anderson's score of 83.75 secured her a sixth US Open title. It's kind of unfortunate to win with a semi-final result, but it also feels good because this season has been crazy. Ended up winning Winter X Games. I won the Olympics. Second place in Big Air, and then to come here and win is pretty, pretty special. I feel really grateful. Women's slope style has really progressed in recent years, and leading the way has been the laid-back Californian. I have never been so inspired as I am this year by all the women. The girls have tapped into their power and really just pushed through the barriers of fear and everything that comes with learning new tricks. For a while there, there was kind of like, uh, you know, not too many people that had been pushing girls snowboarding and it kind of stayed like a little bit stagnant for a while, I would say. And now it's just skyrocketed like crazy. Like this past year, it's insane what, um, you know, the girls are throwing. Dip into the cab, double under flip. She's got that one. Oh my goodness. It just shows like how, you know, strong we are and how we can, you know, keep pushing ourselves. The girls are now throwing tricks that the guys are throwing and it's pretty amazing to watch and definitely be a part of it. My best friend, Julie Marino, she's been kind of leading the charge as well as Anna Gasser and a bunch of other girls. I feel so honored to be part of the ladies that do the new tricks and like hopefully we inspire the younger girls because all the girls that come up now with 16 already, it's so amazing. I think this year the level is even going to be higher and a lot of girls are hungry because they didn't get the chance to show all their best tricks at the Olympics. That was definitely unfortunate at the Olympics, you know, having like 80% of the women's field falling in their runs. I think it's just disappointing because we were able to do so much more and that course was flawless. So I think a lot of girls are going to come out here and try to like sort of get redemption on that. I think the next step in women's progression is going to be like integrating more style into these big tricks um, because the most important thing about snowboarding is style. And if you're not progressing with style, like, there's really no point. The wind eased for the men, and a poor semi-final from Olympic champion Red Gerard meant that he didn't make the final. Canada's Mark McMorris fell on his first two runs and had it all to do on his last descent. He's got to be perfect top to bottom. Could we see the best run of the day right here, right now? Switch back 270, locks that one in. Going switchboard slide. Ooh, a nice 630 out on that one. Gets upside down, spinning switch back side, switch back 12. He gets that one, and now the front side spin that gave him trouble. Front, 14, triple, gets it. Final jump coming at you right now. Mark McMorris going backside 14 triple. And he does it! To the feet, folks, that was a heck of a run. That is what we were waiting for from Mark McMorris all day long. Chris Corning finished second with Marcus Cleveland in third place.
24-year-old Mark McMorris became the first man to win back-to-back -back titles at this event. There's no other feeling like this, you know, to, to do your best when it counts and on the very last run and just, just coming through with the game plan, right? And it doesn't really matter about the position at the end of the day. Obviously, first place is the best feeling on earth, but it feels really good to land the run and um, I could have walked away happy either way. There's more action from the US Open later in the show as we catch up on the Halfpipe Finals.